Okay, I believe we can start today's session. So I will start sharing my screen. And let's start. So welcome to our webinar. Today we'll be diving deep into the process of choosing the perfect customer relationship management system for your pharmaceutical company. We'll walk you through every step right from the initial ideas to defining the selection parameters, all the while focusing on the critical aspects for your organization. So my name is Katerina Pjatnichka, and I work as a customer success manager at Platforce. I know the pain points of our customers while they were choosing the CRMs and while they were using CRMs. So today, we all together try to investigate what um, the perfect CRM is and, wolf, and what features it should have. And also, feel free to write the questions you may already have or that come up to you during the webinar in the chat. Here we have Ruslan, the head of sales at Platforms, and he will gladly assist you. So let's move further. Choosing a CRM isn't just about picking a platform to manage your customer relationship. It's about aligning your business strategy with a technological solution that helps you build stronger relationships and grow your business. The process begins with an idea, the recognition of the need for a system to effectively manage your customer relationships. From this initial idea, we move to establish selection parameters. These parameters act as guiding principles that will help narrow down the available CRM choices. You can see them on the screen. They are defined based on your unique business needs and goals. Today, we talk about the various critical parameters in details, like cost, local support, HCP's database, scalability, and more. We must understand that every business has its unique needs, so one size fits all doesn't apply here. That's why we'll be your guide navigating you through this process and equipping you with the knowledge to make an informed decision when choosing the perfect CRM system for your pharmaceutical company. Let's start with a question. How do you define a CRM? Please vote for this option that seems right to you. So now the poll should appear on the screen. So now you should see the poll. So here we have a statement and there are two options, true or false. So please choose the suitable options. You have 20 seconds to answer these questions and then we'll check the results. Okay, I believe you have had enough time to vote. So can we see the answers? Okay, so... Um, I can't see the results because I didn't vote as you. So can our helper write the answers in the chat? So which we have more, like true or false? So what is the statistics? Okay, so I see the Dr. Kamal has answered true. Thank you. Yeah, so you are absolutely right. So we have at least two true answers. So you are absolutely right. And now let's move to the next screen, next slide. So here we can see the answer that CRM or customer relationship management system is a technology that manages all companies' relationships and interactions with existing and potential customers, HCPs. And now let's see how many of you are already using CRM or plan to use it. So again, we have another poll and please vote for the suitable option. So the poll appears on the screen. So let's vote. So again, you don't have much time and you don't need much time to do that. So let's check the results. So I have already voted. So I believe that we have that I will be able to see the statistics of the answers. So okay, so here we have some answers. So we have my answer that we are using the CRM already, and your answers are that 
yes, but you want to switch to another one, and no, but you plan to use it. So thank you for answering the question. And now let's move further. So now, why is CRM so special? And why is pharma industry especially interested in purchasing one? So let's see. So without a theorem system, the process related to customer management and sales can be more challenging and less streamlined. For example, without a CRM, lead management typically relies on manual methods, such as spreadsheets or emails. So leads are tracked in separate files or folders, making it harder to maintain a centralized and organized database of leads. Content information and interaction with customers are stored in various places and are easily lost. Tracking the progress of deals and managing the sales pipeline is more challenging as it's also manual work. And the last but not least, generating reports and gaining insights from sales and customer data involves manual data extraction and analysis from disparate sources. All this makes it harder to have a clear insight. On the contrary, having a CRM can resolve all these challenges. So a good CRM centralizes customer information, automates marketing, tracks sales activity, and enables customer service actions. CRM is one place where all your secure data about products, suppliers, and HCPs come together. Whether you are a part of the operations team in New York, or you are from the marketing team in Singapore, CRM is your single source of truth. Also, let's not forget that CRM can serve as the stage for closed loop marketing. This is where your CRM taps into the gold mine of data from your interactions with HCPs, like an insightful detective uncovers clues to refine and optimize your marketing strategies. It's all about making your marketing smarter and sharper. As we are already talking about a well-chosen CRM system, let me tell you about some of its key advantages. So, enhancing relationships. CRM is your best friend in building relationships. It throws light on your interactions with everyone, from leads to stakeholders, and ensures you don't forget those little crucial details. It's like your own personal assistant reminding you to send out those personalized communications that make your contacts feel special. Then, streamlining marketing efforts. Your marketing efforts are getting a massive upgrade too. A CRM aligns your sales and marketing teams, pushing them to work together for the best results. Then, improving brand experiences. By leveraging data from the CRM, companies can shape optimized product and service offers, delivering contextualized messages via the most related communication channels for their diverse audiences, and by so, building better brand experiences. And the last but not the least one again, enabling customer-centric approaches. With real-time access to customer tickets and updates, a CRM system enables a proactive, customer-centric approach. This, in turn, helps deliver standout service and improves overall customer satisfaction. In terms of sales, a CRM can integrate with financial platforms to streamline the sales process, manage inventory, and generate accurate sales focus. Moreover, advanced CRM system can create customized dashboards, allowing different users' original offices to access relevant user-friendly data presentations. We'll talk about this in more detail later. And now, we believe there's no better way to understand the real impact of a CRM than hearing from those who use it daily. So let's shift our focus and welcome our customer who will share her first-hand experience and journey with her CRM system. This is Ada Liu from Nutrition Danone, and she recorded this video specifically for our event today. Let's hear what she wants to say. So now I'm playing the video and you please put some pluses to the chat that you can hear and see Ada as well. Hi, my name is Ada Liu. 
Uh, I'm SFE manager for Nutrition Worldwide. It's part of the Danone Group. We have worked with platforms for the past two and a half years. And prior to that, we actually have no CRM system. Now, when it comes to selecting the right CRM solutions, I think there are three things that are very important. First is industry experience. The right partner should have the healthcare industry experience because our industry is unique in its own way. And more importantly, the partner needs to understand how our medical field force work in the field. How do they engage with doctors? And that's really important because if their features are not tailored towards helping medical reps to uh, engage with doctors, then there will be a lot of customization that needs to be done and they can quickly just bust your budget. And also, um, when we talk about customer centric, uh, it's also important that we create a CRM system that's user friendly to the reps. After all, they are the one who use it. Now, second part is on flexibility and scalability. Very often we have our uniqueness in our countries, uh, in our business. Uh, you cannot have a one size fit all solution and that's pretty much understandable, right? So that means the partner needs to be able to customize certain modules, create or even design certain features at a cost effectiveness uh, manner and also with a quick turnover. So that flexibility is very important and we should have, for example, allow flexibility in one country that is a little bit different from the other uh, because each country has its own needs and you cannot take it away from the country. And the last part, of course, is cost effectiveness. Um, the CRM solution needs to fit your pocket, of course. And uh, a lot of the big brands in the industry, um, of course, they are amazing products, but they are also very, very expensive. It happens, especially if you're, for example, in, in my country business unit, our medical reps are scattered all over the globe. So we do not have the kind of economy of scale to implement big brand CRM solutions. And therefore, we really need a partner who is able to provide similar standard of solution at a much cost effective and much value for money type of um, service. So that's how we eventually chose uh, platforms as our partners. And so far, I think the partnership has been um, going pretty well. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so we thanks Ada for her feedback and for sharing the insights, of course. And now let's move further. So before selecting a CRM and diving deep into its features, you must identify your specific needs. As you can see, CRM offers a huge range of functionality and choosing one that best aligns with your pharma company unique needs is really critical. Uh, of course, considerations such as the company scale, market focus, geographical presence, sales strategies, and budget will play a significant role in determining the most suitable CRM. We are definitely going to dive deep into all these chapters. But what about the plot twists? The less obvious points that can change the whole narrative, they are often lurking in the shadows. Well, we'll shine a spotlight on those two, bringing those hidden considerations center stage. Before that, Let's see what are the most important considerations for you when choosing CRM. So now we have another poll. Please vote and we'll see at the end of the webinar if the results of this poll will change. You, you are answering. So you can scroll down if you don't see all the options. And of course, this is multiple choice questions, so you can select several answers. So when all of you are ready, 
So let's check the results. So before we start with all the points, let's check which points now you see, uh, now you think are the most important. Okay, so here we have analytics and pharma-oriented CRM. So these uh, points you think they are the most important. Then we have on the second place, scalability, price, CLM availability. So that's are the second most important features. And then we have customization in CRM and local representation. And trial period seems to be the less important thing. Okay, thank you. So I believe we'll remember these results. And then in the end of the webinar, we'll check whether you think the same or maybe your mind has changed. So now let's move further. So the first one is the importance of choosing a pharma-oriented CRM. It can seem like a minor detail, especially if the rest of the CRM's features might align perfectly with your needs. But imagine this. You are in a foreign country and you only speak English. Now, most of the locals speak a completely different language. Of course, you can use different translation tools, but they don't always capture the nuances and it often feels clunky and inefficient. That's what it's like to use a general CRM in a pharmaceutical industry. But a pharma-oriented CRM is tailored specifically for the pharmaceutical industry, speaking the same language as your team and understanding the unique challenges you face. It's designed to keep in mind the specific regulatory environment, medical terminologies, and the way the industry operates. For instance, you all know that pharmaceutical companies have to manage complex relationships with HCPs, keep track of detailed medical and patient information, and abide by strict regulations concerning data security and privacy. A pharma-oriented CRM is equipped to handle these unique demands with ease. Moreover, a pharma-oriented CRM understands that complex sales cycle of the pharma industry it is much more nuanced than in other sectors. It offers features like sample tracking, contract management, electronic signature capture, and more that are specifically required for this industry. In short, a pharma-oriented CRM is designed to fit a pharma company perfectly. It ensures that your users won't be confused by the different terminology and they don't have to bend over backward to make it work. It fits right into your workflow, improving your efficiency and, of course, driving success. Now, let's move to the next point. Scalability. It is a crucial aspect to consider when choosing a CRM system. It refers to a platform's ability to handle an increasing amount of work and accommodate your company growth over time. This can involve expanding the number of users, managing ledger databases, incorporating more functionalities and integrating with additional systems as your company evolves. So what to consider? Let's consider these questions. Capacity for user growth. Does the CRM system allow for easy addition and management of users? As your pharma company expands, the number of used CRM users is likely to increase. The CRM platform should handle this growth seamlessly without affecting its performance or user experience. Then, data management. As your customer base grows, so will the amount of data your CRM system needs to handle. Can the CRM handle a larger volume of data without slowing down or compromising data security? Then, feature addition. Does the CRM system allow for the addition or expansion of features? The CRM system should have the flexibility to incorporate new features that you might require as your business evolves and integration capabilities. Can the CRM platform easily integrate with other systems your company might adopt in the future? A scalable CRM system should support integration with other platforms like ERP systems, marketing automation tools, or customer service software. So regarding future development prospects, 
please ask for the Serum Vendors Roadmap. It's essential to choose a serum provider that continues to evolve its software, keeping up with technological advancements and changing market needs. And the vendor's future plans should be in sync with where your company intends to be in the future. So if you have any questions, again, please don't hesitate to ask them in the chat. And Ruslan will gladly assist you. And now, moving on, we have a very strict consent and regulated aspect. And you may already know what we are going to talk about, HCP's database and their consent. So think of a robust HCP's database as the core of your CRM. It holds the keys to knowing your customers, understanding their needs, and building strong and meaningful relationships. The more comprehensive and accurate your database is, the more equipped you are to make informed decisions, plan effective marketing strategies, and deliver personalized experience that can charm your customers. A well-segmented database filled with data also opens the door to multi-channel engagement. Besides that, tailoring the HCP's database according to your company's needs is key. Each country or region has its unique set of requirements, and being able to adapt to these variations is really crucial. This can boost customer loyalty, drive better patient outcomes, and fuel your company growth. That's why the capacity of a CRM to manage and leverage a vast HCPS database is a critical factor to consider. Now, onto the twist in the tail, consent. In the realm of data use, consent isn't just a nice thing, it's a necessity. The pharmaceutical industry operates under stringent regulations around data privacy and security. Without proper consent from HCPs, the use of their data could lead to legal complications, hefty penalties, and damage to your company's reputations. That's why your CRM must be equipped to handle consent management effectively. It should have features to track and manage consent, ensuring that data is used appropriately and that HCPs can easily update their consent preferences. This ensures that your data practices are not legal, but also respectful and transparent, fostering trust with your HCPs. So in the grand scheme of CRM selection, the strengths of your HCPs database and the ability to manage consent aren't just pieces of the puzzle, they are cornerstones. They help ensure your CRM isn't just powerful and efficient, but also responsible and compliant. And now let's move further. Sales versus product promotion. So I need you to imagine your company as a marketplace. Depending on your business operations, your stall in this marketplace would either be all about sales or entirely focused on promotions. Each approach comes with its own unique requirements, and that's where the role of your CRM becomes crucial. Understanding general pharma analytics is good, but what about flexible, customized dashboards? Regardless of your company focus on sale, or promotion, skillfully crafted customizable dashboard will be useful to you. But let me tell you more about the difference you should pay attention to depending on your company's focus. If your business is more about promotion, your CRM takes on the role of your top-notch promoter and it helps you manage your promotional campaigns, track their success, and gather insights to optimize your future efforts. It doesn't need to focus on sales transactions, but instead should be adept at campaign management and analytics. And now what about if you are running a sales-oriented business? Your CRM becomes the busy shopkeeper, keeping track of all the transactions, customer details, and stock information. It's the epicenter of your operations, allowing you to manage the entire sales process from the first interaction to the final sale. Here, your CRM needs to be more than just a tool for managing relationships. It should be equipped to handle the sales management. And that brings us to IPN integration. 
also known as IPR, financial management. It's the link connecting your sales booths to the bank. So IPN, or instant payment notification, is a message service that notifies you about transactions related to your business. For sales-oriented companies, IPN integration is a game changer. It ensures seamless financial transactions, providing real-time updates about sales, also refunds, and any other payment events. It's like having an eagle-eyed accountant keeping an eye on all your transactions and, and ensuring that everything goes smoothly. So whether you are the sales guru or promotional master, the right CRM will be your faithful companion helping you navigate the marketplace of your operations efficiently. And now let's step aside from all these sales strategies that you're probably already building in your head. Take a deep breath and picture this. You are in the pharmaceutical industry business and your CRM with a built-in closed-loop marketing is your ultimate sidekick. It's your compass, your guide, and your toolkit all rolled into one. But why is it so vital? Well, having a CRM with its own CLM is like having your top customer success manager, who is also a data analyst. The customer success part, like the CRM, helps you to manage contracts, interactions, and data. The data analyst part, the CLM, then takes all this information and makes the perfect marketing strategy. The magic of CLM is in its ability to create, track, and refine marketing strategies based on real-time feedback from your HCPs. It's a continuous loop of improvement, hence the closed loop. The insights generated from CLM allowed you to tailor your marketing efforts to the unique needs and preferences of HCPs, and it, it is resulting in more engaging, personalized, and effective campaigns. And now let's add a cherry on the top, a user-friendly CRM that supports HTML5 and PDF content. Why is it important? HTML5 and PDF are two popular formats for creating engaging, interactive, and visually appealing content. With support for these formats, you can present your HCPs with rich, engaging content, whether it's interactive presentations, detailed documents, or visually appealing graphics. This isn't just about making your interactions with HCPs more pleasant. It's about making them more effective, helping you present your information in a way that grabs their attention, engages their interest, and drives them to action. And as a bonus for you, CLM can collect KPIs during the visit. This feature lets you conduct comprehensive analysis and identify areas for improvement ensuring your future visits are even more successful. In a nutshell, a CRM with its own user-friendly CLM is like a superhero sidekick for your pharma company. It helps you to understand your HCPs, tailors your strategy to their needs, and delivers your message in the most engaging way possible. So again, if you have any questions, please ask them via the chat. And we move to the CRM dashboards and their customization. Customizable dashboards in a CRM system allow us to prioritize and visualize the data that matters most to our organizations. This is crucial because every company has unique needs and goals. For instance, as we mentioned earlier, a sales-focused company might want to emphasize leads and conversion rates while a company focusing on customer retention may prioritize metrics like customer satisfaction scores and churn rates. And what's even more important, every company has unique ways to measure success, often involving specific formulas to their analytics. A CRM system that allows you to customize dashboards according to these special formulas is like a personal assistant who knows you really well and gives you precisely what you want and how you want it. 
so dashboards customization. However, a great dashboard is not only about being customizable. The customization process, like any new feature implementation process, should be swift and efficient, ensuring you don't have to wait for ages. Most big tech companies have roadmaps planned for the year ahead and can't always implement the new customizable dashboards quickly. You should also keep in mind that the dashboards must have good UX, user experience, and UI, user interface. UX ensures that your customized dashboard is easy to use and navigate. On the other hand, good UI is about making the dashboard visually appealing. Both of these aspects contribute to efficiency and user satisfaction, enhancing the overall effectiveness of your CRM system. And of course, let's not forget about robust reporting and analytic features. These features allow you to record your data, track your progress, analyze patterns, and draw insights that can guide your future strategies. So when choosing a CRM, look for one that allows you to customize your dashboards quickly and efficiently, offers good UX and UI, and provides robust reporting and analytic features. And now we move to regional customization. So to show you that this one is really important, let's see how many of your companies are operating in different regions. So again, now we have the poll on our screens and you can vote. So we have the multiple choice, so you can select several answers. Okay, so I believe that now you are answering. And in a second, we can check what answers have you chosen. So when um, results are ready, please share them with us. Okay, so now we can see the results. And we can see that uh, most of your company operates in Europe. Then we have Middle East and Asia. Okay, thank you for voting. So let's move further with regional customization. So operating in multiple regions doesn't just mean you have customers in different locations. It also means you are dealing with different cultures, different languages, regulations, and market dynamics. Each region might have its own unique business practices, customer preferences, and legal frameworks. A CRM with regional customization is like having a local guide in each region. It can adapt to the local language, follow regional regulations, align with cultural nuances, and even cater to specific regional market trends. This allows your teams in each region to work in, in an environment that's familiar to them, leading to increased efficiency and effectiveness. For instance, let's say that you have your teams in the USA, Japan, and Germany. Your US team might prefer to see data in a certain format, while your Japanese team may have a different preference. There might be specific regulatory considerations in Germany that your CRM must cater to. A CRM with regional customization can adapt to these unique needs, ensuring a smooth and efficient experience for each team. What's more, regional customization also applies to the CRM's interface and user experience. For example, date formats, currency, and time zones should align with regional standards. This attention to detail makes the CRM more user-friendly and reduces the risk of misunderstanding or misinterpretation of data. So if your company operates in multiple regions, regional customization is not nice to have, but a must-have feature in your CRM. Now let's recap what we've already talked about. The importance of pharma-oriented CRM, scalability, importance of having a robust HCPs database, how the company's operations, sales versus promotions, also influence on CRM choice, 
importance of having a CRM with its own closed loop marketing and the importance of dashboards customization according to the unique company for formulas and regions that the company is operating in. So there are just a few left, so stay with us. So transitioning to a new CRM can be a complex and challenging process, especially when a company operates across multiple regions and countries. Understanding the importance of local representation and hypercare support is key in smoothing out this process. Let's start with the local representation. Your CRM system is a business entity that needs to communicate effectively with all your team members. This communication becomes remarkably easier when there is a local CRM representative who speaks your team's language fluently. First, you can request on-site training. With a local CRM representative, the training can be conducted in the native language of your team, ensuring no information gets lost in translation. They understand the regional nuances and can explain the system's intricacies in the context that your team understands best. This makes the training more effective, ensuring that your team is equipped to use the full potential of the CRM system. Then second, effective problem solving. Issues can arise at any time, and it's very important to resolve them quickly to maintain productivity. Having support that communicates in the local language can make this process significantly smoother. This results in faster resolution times and less downtime for your team. And third, personalized approach. Local representatives have a better understanding of regional business customs, legal regulations, and market dynamics. They can provide insights and advice tailored to your local operations, helping you leverage the CRM system to its fullest potential. And now, hypercare support. It's an intensive support period provided by the CRM vendor immediately after the system's implementation. During this time, your team is learning and adapting to the new software and the risk of issues or misunderstandings is really high. So when evaluating a CRM's hypercare support, please consider the following aspects. Immediate assistance. Does the CRM vendor offer immediate troubleshooting and resolution of issues? Quick resolution minimizes disruption to your operations and helps users adapt more smoothly. Then, Training resources. Other training, other training materials, including the manuals, tutorials, and webinars available to help your team understand and navigate the new system. A variety of resources ensure everyone gets up to speed. Then, dedicated support team. Does the vendor provide a dedicated support team during this period? A team that is familiar with your business and its specific needs can offer more effective assistance. The next one, feedback mechanism. Is there a feedback mechanism to communicate your team's concerns and issues? Your team's feedback is invaluable for making necessary adjustments. And transition period duration. How long does the hypercare phase last? While the duration can vary, it should be sufficient to ensure that all users are comfortable with the system. So local representation and hypercare support are not standalone features. They come together to create an optimal support environment. A CRM vendor that offers both is demonstrating their commitment to ensuring a smooth transition to their system, setting the foundation for a, for a successful and long-term partnership. So again, before we are moving to the next part, Maybe you have any questions, so please ask them. And now we move to the very important topic, my. So let's speak about the budget considerations. Serum prices, they can vary widely and it is based on many factors. Some of the elements that typically influence the cost include the number of users, 
the level of customization, the complexity of features, the level of support required, and the vendor's pricing model. You might come across budget-friendly options starting at a few dollars per user per month, mid-range solutions in the hundreds, or even high-end systems that run into thousands of dollars per month. However, it is essential to remember that the cost of a CRM includes costs related to its implementation, training, maintenance, possible upgrades down the line. You will want to take this into consideration when planning your budget. The crucial part is aligning the CRM cost with your company's budget. It might be tempting to opt for the most affordable option but it's worth considering the potential trade-off in terms of features and capabilities. On the other hand, a high CRM system might offer an extensive list of features, but if you are not going to use most of them, you might end up overpaying. It's all about finding the right balance. Consider the return on investment, ROI, that the CRM system can offer. If a CRM system can streamline your operations, increase sales, and improve customer relationships, it can provide a return that far outweighs it cost. Think about how this system can, can help drive the revenue, save your time, reduce errors, and enhance decision-making. In the end, the best CRM system for your company is the one that fits comfortably within your budget while providing the features and benefits that your company needs to succeed. So take a thoughtful test drive through the options, ask the right questions, and ensure you are investing in a CRM system that offers the best value for your specific needs and budget. And now let's speak about trial period. So you can check if the CRM is the best match for you, by requesting a trial period. It's like a test drive and it can provide a lot of insights into whether a CRM system is the right fit for your company or not. During this period, you can explore the features of the CRM, test its ease of use and see how well it integrates with your existing systems. More important, the trial period allows your team to access the CRM in action and provide feedback based on your user experience. If the CRM system doesn't meet your expectations during the trial period, it might be an indication to reconsider your choice or just to discuss your concerns with the vendor before making a long-term commitment. So now we've gathered all the data and gone through all the considerations. Now it's time to make a decision, but with all this information, the decision-making process can seem a bit overwhelming. But here we have a decision matrix. So it is providing a systematic approach to selecting the perfect CRM system for your pharmaceutical company. Let's take an example. Start by listing down all potential CRM vendors that you are considering. Identify the selection parameters of factors that are important to your company. These factors could include cost, local support, scalability, speed of platform development, user training support, platform localization, and others that we talked about today. Assign weights to these factors based on their importance. The weights should add up to one or 100% depending on how you choose to represent them. For each CRM vendor, assign a score for each parameter, from one, four, to five, excellent, based on how well they meet your needs. Multiply the score by the weight for each factor, then add up the weighted scores for each vendor. The CRM vendor with the highest total score is your best fit. However, the decision matrix is just a tool to aid your decision. It's important to balance these scores with the company's unique needs and the qualitative aspects that the numbers might not fully capture. Choosing the right CRM can be a transformative step for your business, and we hope this webinar has provided the knowledge and guidance to make an informed and strategic decision. Remember, the best CRM system isn't the most popular, 
or the most expensive, but that one that aligns with your company's unique needs and goals. So before we wrap up, we want to delve into some real life stories from our clients. We'd love to take you through their journey, their challenges, how the choice of CLM tailored to their specific needs became a game changer and how it helped them to reach their business goals. In addition, you can view live feedback from our clients on our website. So please follow the link from the chat to find all these use cases and more content. And now let's do a quick recap of the essential points we've covered on selecting the best CRM for your pharmaceutical company. So all these points are now appearing on the slide so you can see them. And um, now let's see May, what main considerations you have and want to share with us. So please vote one more time for those ones that seem most important to you while choosing the CRM. So we have this poll at the beginning and we have it now. So again, we have the multiple choice. And you need to submit your answers. So when all the answers are ready, please show them on the screen. Okay, so what we can see that um, price is still the most important point. Then we have a pharma oriented CRM customization in CRM. So the second place. For the third place, we have CLM availability, analytics. Only then goes scalability. And again, on the last uh, place, we have trial period and local representation as well. Okay, thank you for voting. And uh, also let's, uh, so we are nearly at the end of our session today and we have one last thing we'd love your input on. So we have the final poll and we want to deliver information that's not just interesting. So we want you to vote um, for the topics, not to vote, but to fill in what topics do you want to dig deeper into? So after this um, uh, webinar or just now, you can see the link in the chat with the form. So we ask you to fill in the answers and it will help us a lot to know what subjects would you like to explore further. So, and what topics do you want to dig deeper into? So don't be shy. And, uh, Thank you for doing that. And now that's So now we have again the time for questions you might have. So whether you are looking for further clarifications on some points or you want to dive deeper into a specific topic, feel free to ask. Thank you all for joining us today for this webinar. We hope that you found this webinar informative and engaging. So Platforce is all-in-one customer relationship management, closed-loop marketing, and content distribution cloud-based solution at a fair price. So if you are curious whether we are the perfect match for your company, contact us for details. So here you can see the email. Also, you can see the QR code that you can scan. And uh, we can, uh, and also we share the link to our website. So if you want to find more information or just contact us, please do that. And as a token of appreciation for your active participation and for sticking with us today, we've prepared a little something for you. We are offering a downloadable PDF that includes all the vital considerations we've discussed today, plus a decision matrix. Think of it as your personal cheat sheet, a trusty companion to guide you when you are on the path of selecting a CRM for your business. So don't forget to grab your copy before you go. You can find all this information in the chat. So thank you very much for attending our today's webinar and see you next time.